Hi everyone, I am Ravi, Ravi Handa, founder of the website handagafunda.com and today I am here to talk to you about the admission process or the selection criteria for I am Lucknow. Now, uh, as you might know by now that the admission depends on a host of factors, CAT score uh, being the most important one, but you also need to care about your 10th, 12th uh, and graduation score, how much work experience you have, do you have a certain uh, amount of academic diversity or not and uh, gender diversity also plays a role. Now how exactly this impacts for I am Lucknow, that's something that we are going to talk about today. So first of all, it is done in two phases. In phase one, I am Lucknow calls you for an interview. And depending upon how you do in the interview, the written ability test process, you are given a final admit. So for phase one, for getting a call from the college, for them inviting you uh, or for them to even uh, seriously consider you, these are the criteria. Your first and foremost, the most important criteria at I'm luck now is CAT score. So 60%, which is probably on the higher side if you compare it with other IIMs, depends purely on your CAT score. And please keep in mind that before all this gets considered, before they even look at how much work ex you have or how much marks you have in class 12, you need to clear the individual cutoffs for various sections, which means that you need an 85, 85, 85 in all three sections individually, and you need a 90 aggregate. Now, please note, these are the individual scores or individual percentiles that you need to get. 85, 85, 85 and overall 90. This does not mean that you get 86, 86, 86 and 91 and you are selected. No, this just means that your application would be considered. This just means that they will take the pains of calculating all of this and then decide whether to give you a call or not. So don't assume that you just need a 90 percentile to get into AMLAC now. That is the minimum required to be even considered. Then what happens? Then they look at your CAT score and they don't look at your CAT score blindly. It's a scaled score. So what they do is suppose uh, they will look at the maximum marks which are there in CAT 2019 or CAT, whichever CAT uh, is being considered. Your score divided by maximum score into 60. So let's say if you are all in India rank 1 and you have the maximum amount of score, you'll get a full 60 points. And if you are someone who has scored half of what the topper has, then you'll probably end up with 30 points in the CAT score. But in that case, if you are actually getting half of the topper, you'll probably not be getting a call from I am Lucknow. Beyond that, there are 10 points for 12 score. There are 10 points for graduation score. Uh, I'll get into them uh, in a little bit of detail later. There is gender diversity, which gives you five points. So that means females have a 5% additional advantage here. There are five points for academic diversity as well, which means if you do not come from an engineering background, then you get those five points uh, additionally so that the batch is kind of a good mix it's a well diversified batch and you don't have only engineers over there this is done to ensure that and maintain a homogeneous batch so to say now it's typically everything non-engineering gets these uh, five points the complete list is actually available on our blog post uh, related to this video the link is there in the comment section in the description section and you can get it from there. There are 10 points which are available for work experience as well. Now CAT score as you might have realized by now it's actually scaled depending upon what the topper has about the others. In 12th now uh, this is where all IMs behave a little bit differently. To get full 10 on 10 you will need a score of more than 98 percent in class 12 which is very very difficult but I'm sure that some people get that. Otherwise Below 80, you get a zero. So below 80, if you have in class 12, I think I am Lucknow, I'm sorry to say, is kind of ruled out for you because it will be very difficult to compensate from zero to a uh, much higher score. So let's say if you are a male engineer, so you lose five po points for being a male, you lose, uh, lose five points for being an engineer. And if you have less than 18, 12, well, that's, that's a bit too much of a gap to make up. So here, what happens is, 80 to 82, 1 point, 82 to 84, 2 points, 84 to 86, 3 points. So the pattern is pretty obvious. With every 2 percentage point, you get one more point at the overall score. And beyond 98 is when you get full 10 points. 
So that is how the 10 points for class 12th are awarded. Graduation score. So here, uh, it's a complicated looking formula. Uh, what it does uh, on a superficial level is essentially it normalizes your score so that someone who has an 80% in engineering uh, can be compared properly with someone else who has, let's say, 65% in arts. Now, it's fair enough to say that getting 65% in arts in most universities would be harder than getting 80% in engineering. So how do you balance these scores? This is the formula that is used. For those of you who have a little bit of background in stats, or even if you don't, some very basic idea, whatever is your percentage score, that minus the mean, which is the average of that score in your discipline, divided by the standard deviation for that discipline into 50 by 3 plus 50. So this will give you some sort of a score. And then since it is out of 10, so this will give you the percentage score and that out of 10, you map it to out of 10 to get your score. So let's say if supposedly you have much, much marks better than the average of your own category, then and only then you can have a chance to actually get to 10 because See, what needs to happen is this is 50 by 3, then uh, average by standard deviation. So this particular part, all of this, uh, which is in this bracket, needs to come to be 3. So if this comes to be 3, that is your score minus the average divided by the standard deviation. If that comes out to be 3, which means it is a very large positive value, then and only then you can get full 10 points. On the other hand, it's quite possible that your score is slightly below average. Well, it's, if it's below average, you will end up with something which is lesser than even five points. What happens in the work experience category? Six months or below, you get zero points. One extra month, half a point. One extra month, half a point. One extra month, half a point. And this goes on till 26 months or more because at 26 months, you get full 10 points. And beyond that, you will get 10 points. So if you have a little over two years of work experience when you are applying for CAT, I am Lucknow will give you full 10 points. And so based upon these 10 points of work experience, uh, your graduation score, 10 points for class 12, all of these combined and the 5, 5 points for gender and academic diversity, you get a call. And what happens after that? Well, the final admission process consists of a personal interview, which is for 40 points, the most important criteria there. The written ability test, which is for 10 points. So that makes it half. Uh, so half of it would be decided when you are there. The other half, this part, is actually already decided. Your CAT score is already there. Academic and gender diversity, instead of 10 points in phase one, it is now shrink to five points. CAT score was 60 points in phase one. It has now shrink to 30. 12 graduation marks have all uh, also shrink. I, I think this particular value for work X should have been five here. Only then this would all add up to be 100. So this work X should have been five here. So that essentially will form your entire selection process for I am Lucknow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and we have many other such videos on our channel. So I'll request you to like and subscribe. Another thing is that on the 15th of August, I'm taking a free class, which will give you a 100 day study plan. So in case you are interested in attending that, just visit the link in the description section. The link will not only tell you about the selection process at I am Lucknow in great detail, It'll also have a form where you can register for the class. With this, I'd like to wrap up this particular video. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.